It's been an absolute war out there. Neither side giving in. Both want to advance to the next round. It's the Eastern Conference Playoff Game 6. Right here on 2K Sports. And tonight, it'll be the New York Knicks going up against the Philadelphia 76ers here in Wells Fargo Center. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan. And joining us tonight, Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And reporting from the sidelines, our very own David Aldridge. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Lando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward position. And for Philadelphia, the pairing up front is Harris and Embiid. Lowry out there with Maxi, and it's Oubre in at the three. It'll be the Knicks off the tip. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. The Knicks shooting their first free throw of the night here. to the paint floats one up that's good from Harris and the assist by Lowry such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end and you love his confidence even Chenzo passes to Robinson he's so agile at seven feet and he covers a lot of territory and finished off by Ubre flying high and throwing it down with the one hand one of his favorite moves right there guys now here's Randall. Knocks down the three ball. Boy, found a little room from behind the arc, and there was no hesitation. Just lets it fly. Harris finds Lowry. Randall against Embiid. Pocket six. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. And Embiid is right there. He just knows where to go. Embiid positioning himself perfectly to get the putback. Has to want an open. Over Oubre. Robinson. And Robinson is right there. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. Now, here's Lowry. Knocked away. Ananobi with it. There's the pass to Brunson. Outside for Randall. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Brunson. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And beat inside. Hardy by Robinson. Looming large on the interior. And beat hard to deny. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. For viewers, timeouts a, a chance to check your phone, grab a drink, but for the teams, it's all about business. 
Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. It's Robinson high post. Shot clock at five. Even Genzo with it. Howry picks him up, and he comes up with the deuce. Robinson's got his second bucket of the night. I'll tell you, a level of toughness on display from Mitchell Robinson. Send a message, young sir. Unloads from 13, and the shot is good. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. And so it's Oubre with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They're looking to bounce back after the bitter loss on Saturday. Painful to watch, guys. You can see the frustrations mounting, unable to get into any kind of a rhythm whatsoever. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. I really don't think there's a more impactful player in the league. Even on nights when his stats don't show it, Embiid changes everything when he's on the floor. Count the basket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Embiid. Seven points in the game. Again, Philadelphia. He has not missed a shot in this quarter. They've tried running different things in him, but he's been unstoppable. On deep, Brunson, and again, New York with the triple. You can see the work Jalen Brunson has put into his game. Boy, the three-point stroke has really come a long way. Now refines Embiid. Outside, Maxi, And a miss there on the triple. The Knicks have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. And Brunson, here we go. Here's DiVincenzo. And the Knicks good for two. Guys, what a wild first half this has been. <laughs> wow, back and forth start, that's for sure. Maxi, and the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. New York calls timeout. Here's Randall. 
passes it to Ananobi. Back to Randall. Over Harris. And the Knicks good for two. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Now here is Lowry. He has yet to score. Well, this is the special aspect of Mitchell Robinson. That rim protection, that ability to send it back. Look out. Brunson, good. They are just killing him on the interior. Outside, Maxi. And too much time in the three. lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Heels checked in for the 76ers. Hartenstein, he's checked in for the Knicks. New York leading by three. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sync. Good luck trying to stop him now. Well, despite his size, Jalen Brunson loves to operate in the painted area. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for New York. And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. And the first one at the line is good. Now, Jalen Brunson approaches a point guard position as a scorer. And boy, this guy can light you up. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Reed is checked in for Joel Embiid. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Oubre. And it's Payne in for Maxi. And then for New York. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. And Hart subbed in for OG Ananobi. Here's Payne. Kicks it to Harris. Up to Payne. Back to Harris. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And here's Brunson. He's got nine. Hart the pass to Brunson. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Now, here is Reed. Here's Melton with the drive. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. Oh, right. And what the timing ideal? My goodness. The D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here. And here are the 76ers now. They trail by seven. Left side, Harris. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And whenever Harris is aggressive like this, I think it's for the best because he has that ability to attract contact. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And he makes the first. 
And the Knicks making a change here. Bogdanovich has checked in. And Harris drops them both. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line. And boy, has his stroke been on the money. Achua with it. Harris is there. Two points. That one goes. And the Knicks lead by seven. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Healed from outside. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. We all know this guy is a volume three-point shooter. Mr. Heald does not lack for confidence. Pass to Achua. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Melton kicks to Payne. Another three for Philadelphia. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. The Knicks leading by three. Here's Brunson. He's got 13. Ajua, no good. Payne looking around. Stolen by Brunson. Outside Bogdanovich. Shoots over Melton. And Bogdanovich, the bucket on the assist by Brunson. Well, you love to see Boyan Bogdanovich get out and run. Get ahead of the defense and score. That is nice. Three-pointer heel. Another three for Philadelphia. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Bogdanovich passes to Brunson. Puts it up from 15. And again, it's New York. In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. That's good. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote scoring, no doubt. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for Jalen Brunson. That's good from Payne. New York's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Outside Bogdanovich. And it's blocked. That's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. The Knicks making a switch here. McBride's checked in. to Hart. Some nice passing by New York here. Four on the shot clock. And he banks in the layup. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Melton, the bounce pass. Here's Harris and slam dunk by Harris. And a nice mix of strength and agility. Harris able to explode for the slam. Here's McBride. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. McBride's got his second basket of the game. Payne kicks to Harris. Ready by Bogdanovich. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Hard finds DiVincenzo. it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Now here's Payne. He's covered closely. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. The pass to Bogdanovich. Here's Hartenstein. He's guarded by Melton. A nice shot by Hartenstein. And the Knicks lead by five. 
Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Heel lays it up and banks it in. Heald's got eight points. Great concentration by Buddy Heald right there. Boy, despite taking the bump, finishes anyway. A three from Bogdanovich. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the New York Knicks. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we'll be right back after this. And we're back. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? And just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second chance opportunities. The 76ers trail by three. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. A small four. So it's New York now. Philadelphia able to drain the three. Brunson no good. Oubre passes to Embiid. Physical play by Embiid inside. And the sheer size of Embiid poses so many problems for the opponent. And he's using it well to score inside against them. Brunson kicks to Randall, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And we're starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Passes it to Embiid. Oubre outside. It's tipped. Julius Randle is never going to back away from a defensive player. He knows he's got the strength to play through contact. Nice job drawing the foul. New York shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. That free throw good from Randle. It seems to me Julius Randle improves every season. And the more responsibility he's given, it seems the better he performs. Both free throws good from Randle. Philadelphia has gone four six from outside the arc tonight. Here's Oubre, and he converts the layup. Oubre has got six. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That is his first foul of the game. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here's Brunson. Good. Brunson's got the game tied up here for New York. Yeah, Julius Randle has a good feel on the offensive end. On time and on target with the pass. Here's Maxi. Misses the three. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. No, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. And B, no good. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. I think expect them to go back to it, because that's the kind of shot this offense is designed to generate. Melton passes to Maxi. Oubre, no one around him. Barry's the long-range jumper. Nine points in the game so far. Well, you have to respect how fast Kelly Oubre gets his shot off in catch-and-shoot situations. New York calls timeout.
And Philadelphia making a change here. Lowry's checked in. And a switcher also for New York. Achua, he's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. Runs in the bounce pass. Randall kicks to DiVincenzo. Pass to Achua. Shot clock at six. Here's Ananobi. Buries it from three-point range. Nice job by OG Ananobi to be aggressive from distance. Maxi passes to Reed. Three-pointer. It'll go, and the New York lead is cut to just one on the basket for Maxi. Maxi's got five points so far. Pass to Ananobi. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Paul Reed. That's foul number two for him. Brunson against Lowry. Well, Lowry not giving an inch. Contesting that shot beautifully on the defensive end. Maxi on the wing. Defended by DiVincenzo. Here's Embiid. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. The jump hook, and it's finished off inside by Ananobi. And the Knicks lead by one. I'll tell you, it's six foot eight with the elite athleticism. Good luck checking OG Ananobi on the interior. Maxi attacking up and in on the layup. He's got seven. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. A putback, and Ananobi stays with it. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Lowry dishes to Embiid. Joel Embiid, two. Well, no question, Joel Embiid is page one on the scouting report. Maybe page two and three as well. He is a handful. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Randall's got nine. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now, here's Oubre. Nine points in the game so far, and the basket is good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Even Genzo against Maxi. Trying to get open is Randall. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Now let's take a moment to get your guys' take on the scoring so far for the 76ers. How about the ball movement so far? I mean, the unselfishness, everyone here just playing for one another, and that can be infectious. The other thing that's gone exceptionally well for them tonight is the shooting they've displayed from beyond the three-point arc. Free throw drops for DiVincenzo. Some changes for Philadelphia. Tobias Harris comes in for Reed, and it's Buddy Heald in for Maxi. And New York with a change here, too. Hard, he's checked in for Randall. And so DiVincenzo nails both of them. Here's Heald. Eight points for him. And play stops. Whistle on what looks That's to great. be an illegal screen. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness. But that's two fouls already. Take a step back. The Knicks with the lead. Runs in the bounce pass. Ananobi passes to Brunson. And he gets it to go. Brunson's got 19 points. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Harris outside. He takes it in. No good that time. Good D by Ananobi. The Knicks leading by three. Frank, everything they're doing is working right now. Good run they have going right now. The momentum is huge. Jalen Brunson right now attacking without hesitation. His foot is on the gas pedal. Healed outside. Just five to shoot. 
here's Harris, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Harris has got his third basket of the night. And that mid-range jumper, Harris's go-to shot before he developed the consistency from range. Ananobi, good. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. The pass to Harris. 4-3, Oubre. Another three for Philadelphia. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Even Genzo against Heal, and that one is good. Even Genzo's got six here in this quarter. Working against size, he's just crafty enough to carve out some wiggle room. I'll tell you, the analytics crew may not like the mid-range, but sometimes you just got to put it in the basket. Now here's Brunson following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Well, as always, Jalen Brunson making the right play. This guy loves to set up his teammates. Timeout called the 76ers. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Cameron Payne's checked in for Kelly Oubre. The Knicks also changing it up. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Precious Achua. And it's Bogdanovich in for Ananobi. Payne up top. Brunson covering. And Bead kicks to Heald. On the wing, Harris. From 12 feet out. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Now this guy has made giant strides in his playmaking. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Now here's Brunson. Here's Bogdanovich. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Harris. And it took them a while to find their touch at the line, but they have been red hot here in the second quarter. And he's got his first free throw of the game. No good on that one. There's a lot to like about Bogdanovich's game. He's a skilled scorer. He's a capable defender. And I think there's some leadership qualities there. The 76ers making a switch here. Melton's checked in. Robinson's checked in for New York. He hits the second from the line. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Six-point game. Here's Payne. That one drops for him. Payne's got ten points. Oh, that's some fancy ball handling right there since how does he take guys off the dribble? To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists now tonight. Payne kicks to Harris. Back to Payne. On the wing, Melton. Off target from three-point range. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Pass to Hart. Out left to the wing. Now here's Brunson. Payne covering. The shot's good from Brunson. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Here's Harris. Robinson with the block. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumps. Count it good. 
but you have to like the balance of Boyan Bogdanovich keeping it through the contact. That is nicely done. Now here's MB. 15 points in the game. Hard against Melton. MB. And MB throws it down. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket, guys, still shaking. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Brunson's got the lead up to 10 now for the Knicks. Pass to Melton. Out to the right wing. Here's Embiid. He's still up. Now he is 9 of 10. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Pass to Brunson. Hard against Melton. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Boy, the vision of Jalen Brunson is something to behold. This guy, an elite passer. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And it's the Knicks with the ball. It'll count. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the New York Knicks with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room headed. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Coach. Your team has found success when they've gotten the ball into the paint. Is that the goal to do more of that in the second half? Yeah, we want to play inside out, force them to collapse, and then we got to share the ball. We have to make quick decisions. When we move the ball quickly, we'll get good shots. But if we hold on to it, they're not going to be high percentage shots. The ball finds energy, right? Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. And guys, for the Knicks... They clearly can sense how close they are to wrapping up the series in six games. They'd love to close it out here and avoid a game seven. And taking a look at the Knicks, Shaq, what'd you think? Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. It's been a difference in the game. And Kenny, your take on Philadelphia? Well, they have to improve their defense. Guys were getting burned on the perimeter. They wouldn't put a hand up, as my man used to say, hand down, man down. Oh, you got to get it some help. That pretty much covers everything. Now, Jack, you think they played their best? No way, no way. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Round one, thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. We've got Oubre. Buddy Heald is out there with Embiid. Then there's Tyrese Maxey. And it's Lowry in at the one. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. Five on the clock. Knocks it loose. And stolen by DiVincenzo. Now Ananobi. It's blocked. Well, you think about this guy as a 3 and D guy, but Oubre is showing why he earned that label. How about that effort on the defensive end? Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible, and boy, that's a terrific start right there. Harris has checked in for Buddy Heal.
And so it's New York with it. Brunson scanning the floor. No one near Randall as he lets it go. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got six assists in the game. Harris, right side. Outside Lowry. Six to shoot. He kicks to Embiid. Great touch from three from Embiid. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. The pass to Brunson. From downtown, it's hauled in by Harris. The 76ers trail by seven. Looks for Lowry, gets it to him. And he finishes nicely on the way. Lowry's got his first bucket of the night. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Now here's Brunson. 26 points for him. Eyes again, and Robinson with the layup. Robinson's got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, if you fail to get a body on him, he will go to the offensive glass and make you pay. Harris passes to Embiid. Embiid is a monster in the lane. Wow. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. New York calls timeout. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. Ananobi kicks to Randall, shot from 12, and he gets the bucket. 14 points for Julius Randall. The ability to get to the mid-range game is something Julius Randall has proven he can do. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down to five on the bucket from Joel Embiid. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got four points in the quarter. Well, concentration right there. Mitchell Robinson refuses to let the defense have the last word. Nicely done. Maxi finds Oubre. Lays it up off the glass. Oubre's got 16 points. Yeah, and what a fantastic start here to the second half. They have yet to miss. Mando passes to Brunson. to Randall, down to five on the shot clock over Lowry and there's another one for the Knicks you want to talk about a perfect performance he hasn't missed a shot all night incredible ball's knocked loose and stolen by DiVincenzo Brunson, good on the bucket and it's a nine point Knicks lead and taking a quick look here at the hustle steps for the Knicks they have been a wrecking ball defensively coming up with steals being active with their hands and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game crashing the boards with authority turning those opportunities into second chance points boy big time big time on the offensive glass first free throw is good Reed is checked in for Philadelphia and the Knicks making a change here as well. Achua's checked in.
and he makes both free throws. The Knicks leading by seven. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Handle with the ball. Lowry picks him up. That one goes. Count it. Brunson's got 30. Well, you love his effort level, right? Particularly when it's winning time. He is going for the finish. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that swing, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Yep, that one goes. Boy, how highly skilled is Jalen Brunson with the ball in his hands. The ability to get anywhere on the floor that he wants to go. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Shots good by Achua. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes that lead pass. Timeout called the 76ers. You know, my guess right now is coach wants to talk over this turnover issue, and it seems like they've been trying to force things a bit and need to find a steady rhythm offensively. Buddy Heald, he's checked in for the 76ers. DeAnthony Melton comes in for Maxi. Bogdanovich is checked in for the Knicks. Harris outside. Releases. That's good. He's five for nine. The length and strength of Harris gives him an advantage on contested jumpers that the other players simply don't have. Randall from outside. And it's Reed pulling it down. And so Lowry will bring it up for Philadelphia. They trail by nine points. The steal. Here's Melton. It's deflected. And here's DiVincenzo from the arc. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And Philadelphia making a change here. Payne's checked in. And then for New York, Hartenstein comes in for Jalen Brunson. And Hart subbed in for Dante DiVincenzo. And Philadelphia has possession. A 12-point game. Boy, how about the release? I mean, no sooner does that ball hit his hands than he rises and fires. But he'll doing what he's paid for. That's tipped, and he gets it back. And they're able to recover. And they pick up two. Hartenstein's got six points. Philadelphia's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Passes to Harris. Shoots the three. It's good. And it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And really a combo forward with, with a solid outside touch. Harris is the ideal fit for the modern NBA. Now oh, here's Randall. 16 points for him. They get a hand on it. Healed against Randall. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down to six and the bucket from Heal. Tell you what, the defense does a good job on Buddy Heal. This guy just so good at concentrating through a contest. Bogdanovich, that's for two, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw good, Bogdanovich. Shake Milton, he's checked in for New York. And so Bogdanovich nails both of them. The 76ers trail by eight. Pass to Harris. to Melton. Reed with it. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Oh, that's blocked. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. Achua with it. He has six. Six on the shot clock. And there's the pass to Hart. Over heel and good as it just snugs right down through the net. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Here's Harris again, Philadelphia. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. The shot's good for Milton. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly time out, time takes out. advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And the 76ers call time here. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for Shake Milton. Healed the pass to Reed. Now here's Payne. Brunson covering. It's blocked. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in cracking this huge lead. It has proven very hard to guard Jalen Johnson without fouling, especially if he's aggressive to score it. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Brunson. Embiid, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And both free throws, good for Brunson. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Payne dishes the heel. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Brunson kicks to Bogdanovich. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. And he's got his first chance at the line here. So it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for Philadelphia. 
trailing by 13. Now here's MB. He's tightly guarded. Five to shoot. And there's One. the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Yeah, that's a tough call right there. And really a tough break for the deep. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. A minute 20 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Melton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. The 76ers have gone a perfect seven of seven from the line tonight. First one falls for him. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Melton hits them both. New York leading by 11. And here's Brunson. He's got 34. Pat Donovich wide open. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Bogdanovich has got five points now in the quarter. Payne passes to Heald. Back to Payne. Fires the three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. And how about the payback there, guys? You do you, I do me. Oh, you love to see the competitive fire. A little bit of pride at stake. Brunson, good. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Payne finds Melton. Count it. Melton's got nine points. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Here's Hart. Passes it to Brunson. With one on the clock, and it is good at the buzzer. Wow. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. New York ahead. They lead by 13. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth. Bogdanovich out there with Ananobi. Then it's Robinson. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's DiVincenzo in at the shooting guard position. Now here's Oubre. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. It's good. Oh, boy. Kelly Oubre is rolling. You can see all that potential starting to rise to the surface. Now here's Brunson. Here's Ananobi. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Well, he's attacking. He's forcing the issue. And that's simply stated a terrific play. And we know how good Embiid is at drawing fouls, especially in the painted area. He welcomes the contact. Randall's checked in for New York. Burks comes in for Jalen Brunson. First free throw is good. And they haven't let points get away 
from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Tobias Harris has checked in for Paul Reed. Maxie comes in for Milton. And Kyle Lowry subbed in for Payne. So he hits one of two from the strike. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Here's Randall. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Bede's got rebound number five here tonight. Now Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Ananobi. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Embiid's got 29. And, and Embiid practices these shots all the time, which is why he's so good from this area. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Harris finds Embiid. Out to Harris. Over Robinson. It'll go, and the Nick lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Harris. And difficult to convert in the face of that kind of deed. Harris isn't afraid to take the tough shots. It never has been. That shot wide open. Randall's got 10 points here in the second half. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Randall against Harris. That's down the hatch. Knocks one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. And so far, Harris is having his way on offense. The defense just has not found an answer for his energy on that end. And that's just an, taking advantage of some soft defense on that drive. Little resistance for him on the way to the basket. Let's stop. Free throw good. Burks. Alec Burks continuing to develop into a dependable scorer. He's got great size for a two guard. Maxi, and he uses the glass on the layup. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. Lowry against Burks. Here's Hananobi. Score that one for him. His eighth field goal. Eight for 11 on a very accurate night. I'll tell you, OG Ananobi showing you what could happen if he puts it all together. Doing work, OG. That one's in there. The next lead is cut down to 12 points again in the basket from Harris. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball, really helping his team hang around this one. Oubre again, Philadelphia. Now the extreme confidence on display by Oubre, knocking it down with the D in his grill. Driving to the basket, and the rejection by Embiid. On the wing, Harris. He's defended by Randall. Harris kicks to Maxi. It is good. The assist from Harris. Maxie's got to back down to single digits for the 76ers. Outside Robinson. Down low. Here's Ananobi. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. 19 points for OG Ananobi. Pass to Harris. And he banks in the lane. Harris has got eight here in the quarter. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Randall passes to Ananobi. Oubre with the steal. And Embiid with a clear path to the hoop. Embiid running the floor. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part. Really just trying to battle his team back into it. Yep, that one goes in there. Ananobi's got 10 points here in the second half. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Harris dishes to Lowry. From outside the arc, a three-pointer is right on target. Well, step into your shot. Rise and fire. Kyle Lowry ready from three. 
Even Chenzo passes to Burks. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That one on Embiid. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Josh Hart, he's checked in for the Knicks. He doesn't get the second one. The 76ers trail by six. Oubre kicks to Embiid. Lowry passes to Harris. Lowry deciding where to go with it here. Shot clock at six. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. New York leading by six. Now, here's Hart. And it's Robinson that time on the assist by Hart. Uh, easy to see why Mitchell Robinson's shooting percentage is so high. He is so smart and judicious with the shots he takes. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. That's just sloppy. I mean, you can't lose control of the ball like that and let it get back across midcourt. You know, I guess the only good thing about it is it didn't turn into a fast break the other way. Dead ball turnover. Heels checked in for Philadelphia. Handle with the ball. Now defended by Oubre. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Lowry against Ananobi. Poked away. And it goes out of, out of bounds. That went off Robinson. against Ananobi. There's the steal. To the inside. Randall. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. 21 points for Julius Randall. Guard him big, guard him small. Julius Randall is so crafty on the interior. It matters not. He's going to finish. Here's Lowry. Somehow ignores the tight D and gets the way up. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Well, major height disadvantage. He recognizes that and still able to score it. Now, here's Ananobi. Good on the shot. Ananobi's got 12 points here in the second half. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. Ananobi against Lowry. <laughs> and he's really made the most of his opportunities today. I mean, he needs to keep working for those kinds of books. Randall with the bucket. Philadelphia with the ball. It's a 10-point game. The pass to Embiid. Over Robinson. Again, Philadelphia. Well, Kyle Lowry has spent his entire career finding open teammates. Inside, Hart, that's good. And the Knicks lead by 10. Moving it around, eight of their last 10 coming off assists. There's Embiid. And the shot goes in. Embiid's got 37. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. This is it to Hart. Outside for Randall. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Well, you cannot sleep on Julius Randle. Catch and shoot jumper. Okay, time out, time Julius, out. we see you. And Philadelphia calls time here. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling time out to kind of let them catch their breath.
And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Brunson. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And he'll head into the second round with his confidence at its highest level. He couldn't have picked a better time to take his game up a notch. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. Now, they've been happy with the way the team is shooting. He reminded players to keep taking those threes, that they've had some clean looks. When that three goes in, it's always a welcome sight. Guys? Thank you, David. Here's Randall after the main shot from Joel and Dean. And an Obi with it. Clock at four. Shoots. And there's Randall on the assist by Ananobi. Ananobi has got his fifth assist in this one. To the middle. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Joel and B. Even Genzo against Heald. To the paint. Here's Ananobi. Lays it up and banks it in. Ananobi's got 14 points now in the second half. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. That's a two from Heel. Offensive rebound. And the basket by Embiid. And showcasing that overwhelming strength. Embiid is so skilled at finishing over the aggressive defense. Here's Randall, And the layup's good off the glass. And the Knicks lead by 10. And guys, just really impressed. They made big plays when it counted. And that's going to be on to the next round for the Knicks. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock on another triple. And so this will do it. They'll end up taking the series in six games, four to two. Yeah, it gives them just a little bit of time to rest and study some tape. They've got a much tougher hill to climb in the next round. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jalen Brunson. I think it would be impossible to overstate the influence he had on this basketball game. He was the centerpiece of what they did on the offensive end and the anchor of their defense. That's as complete a performance as we've seen. And they do it. They'll move into round two. It took them six games to do it, Greg, but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two. Uh, and I really think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one. It gets those playoff juices kind of flowing, if you will. <laughs> prevents any kind of complacency from setting in. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kevin, with Julius Randle. And Julius, you get it done at multiple ends. Where does your focus been in terms of approach? I'm just taking what the defense gives me. Uh, I'm a lot more patient. Uh, let the game come to me. Um, don't really try to force things as much. You know, sometimes I get out of character, but uh, so I just try my hardest to let the game come to me the most. Well, you were a big part of the win tonight, Julius. Thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thanks so much, David. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.